Center of Excellence um, in Safety Engineering and Analytics welcomes all our dear participants to week 63 of the weekend talk on Safety Engineering Management and Analytics. The event is conducted under Azadi Ka Amrut Mahal Sir, which commemorates 75 years of India's independence. Let's begin today with this beautiful slogan, Asitoma Sadgamaya, Tamisoma Jodhur Gamaya, Mrityoma Amritam Gamaya. Pray to Almighty to lead us from ignorance to truth, from darkness to light, from death to immortality. Let me welcome our dignitaries onto the virtual dais. We have Professor J. Maiti, who is the chairman of the center, Professor Obi Krishna, convener of the event, and uh, our expert speaker for the day, which is Abhishek Varma. Uh, Professor Abhishek Varma is currently working as the assistant professor in management information systems area at IIT, IIM Rota. He had did his PhD from the Department of Industrial and Systems Engineering, IIT Kharagpur. His research area is data analytics, occupational safety, where he anal analyzed a large amount of text and categorical data using data mining and machine learning techniques. His work is published in many reputed international journals, conferences, and chapters. He is also the reviewer of some reputed journals like Safety Science, Computer and Industrial Engineering, Management Review Quarterly, International Journal of System Assurance, Engineering and Management, etc. So COA and SEA wholeheartedly welcomes you to this event, sir. And so we are very grateful and we are also very happy to attend to. Now I kindly invite Professor J. Maiti to formally welcome our expert speaker. Thank you, Thank you Shuin. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Abhishek Varma. Thank you, sir. For, our, for accepting our request. In fact, uh, you are one of the uh, experts in the area of safety analytics. And what, what work you have done at IIT Khadapur during your PhD time, uh, that was an excellent piece of analytics application as well as development development in the domain of safety engineering, safety management, as well as we can say both occupational and process safety management. So today's title, uh, Powering uh, Workplace Safety with Analytics. So uh, I'll be a little bit talking about analytics in the starting that what is analytics if somebody is not having any knowledge about that one but not technical talk i don't uh, i want to make uh, very basic things as in layman terms uh, then after that i'll be telling you that how i implemented and not i we can say uh, how we have implemented this one for a for a project uh, how we have implemented all these phases of analytics and how we uh, found uh, the actionable interventions to improve the safety and how their industry accepted those interventions. So that I will be talking about. So uh, uh, those who are working in safety, those who are not working in safety, so they by this these weeks you must be understanding that okay, what is the importance of safety? And big industries are collecting the data in you know in a huge amount, like using different modes. Uh, whether it's IoT, whether it's uh, data entry, all those things which is happening. So it's some sort of we can say now we are moving in a big data kind of a scenario. Uh, if you see the safety uh, things, uh, most of the times uh, we we see near misses. So if you see if the see the stats from some standard website, some some standard uh, data, most of the time, 66% of the times, near misses are happening. Uh, out of that, maybe 25% are minor injuries, then 8 to 9% are uh, lost time injury, and maybe 1% we can say uh, you know, serious injuries or some uh, major injuries are happening. Okay. So once these uh, data are getting collected with the industries, so what to do with that one? Yes, that's the thing. So. Uh, uh, after 2020, uh, after 20 or we can say it after 2000, uh, 
when these out of 1005 i can say 2004 2005 when these uh, uh, computing power and these data storage getting cheaper and getting you can say in the approach of people and the industry so people started collecting the data a lot of data okay because industries are not specifically collecting the data for safety purpose they are collecting the data for their own purpose for their own consumption so being a safety practitioner being a manager you have to extract the data uh, what that you want okay so uh, i'll be starting with analytics first so what is analytics so if you see uh, some definition there is no exact definition uh, available till date so as a one of the community informs so they have defined analytics that is a scientific process of transforming the data into insight for making better decisions okay so that's the one uh, definition that informs gave and one of the definition that i personally like was given by one of the uh, data analytics author uh, devonport so according to him it's a extensive use of data statistical and quantitative analysis explanatory and predictive models and in the end fact based management okay the fact based management to drive the decisions so if you see both of that both the definitions so there is a term decision making okay so that's very much important so whatever you are doing that you, you should be connected with the some sort of a decision okay so you do some statistical analysis you do data mining you do machine learning until and unless it is not connected with some sort of a fact based management we cannot say that it's a analytics it will be just called as a analysis simple that's it okay so uh, it will help you to generate wisdom or we can say create wisdom from raw data so from raw data we we create information from information we create knowledge and then when the knowledge gets uh, merged with your experience or gut feeling whatever we say that it becomes a wisdom ultimately so that's ultimately what we can say is the analytics okay so analytics is just we cannot say it's just number crunching okay so it's not about number crunching just you just apply some algorithm and all those things and you're saying that i'm applying analytics so that's not analytics it's more than that okay so you see that five components of data analytics so you say technology that how and which technology what is using what technology you are creating the data you might be using some sort of a, a website you might be doing some kind of a, a database management system sql whatever that you are doing to just create the data then algorithms algorithms ultimately will help you to process the particular data from input to create some sort of a output and in after that you should be knowing the end in the start so that's come under your methodology okay so in the, in the methodology when you are creating the methodology you must be knowing the end part in the starting when the you, when you are ultimately creating the methodology okay so that should be available in the first then people because people are the uh, are the entity who are going to create that one who are going to consume that particular information those who are going to uh, we can say interpret whatever uh, results that you are creating so without people you cannot have technology you cannot create tech algorithms you cannot create methodology so people are one of the integrated parts and that you will need each and every phase of the analytics because people are the one who are running the business ultimately okay so these are the five components uh, of analytics then uh, if you see uh, what is analytics like different phases of analytics so that was taken from one of the book of devonport that competing on analytics so if you see this x axis and y axis so we are having different degree of intelligence and on second we are having a competitive advantage so if you see the blue 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 circles if you see this one so in the starting we are just we are not doing uh, so much we are just doing what that we are just interested in that is what actually is happening right now okay so what has happened uh, what information really needs uh, that will come into your uh, visual analytics so maybe some or maybe some drill down queries you are running on mysql or maybe some or uh, maybe some pivot table or maybe these things we are uh, using so that will comes under your that information that what exactly is the problem 
then alert you will be creating based on that that what what action is needed so all these ultimately comes under your descriptive analytics we are we are just trying to know that what actually is happening right now okay whatever pattern that you are creating whatever that you are doing that comes under your descriptive analytics that what actually is happening then after that okay that's good that something is happening but maybe uh, that particular area is improving or they might particular area or division is maybe you know deteriorating so you cannot analyze based on your descriptive analytics so for that one you may need or you, you can you can need uh, you need uh, predictive analytics so in predictive analytics you can have different uh, uh, statistical models like what are the causes if you will not do something that what may happen in the future or if let's suppose some the same scenario will keep on happening then you can forecast that okay whether the trend is going to increase or whether the trend is going to decrease so that will come under your uh, forecasting so using that one you can ultimately find out that what is going to happen next then you 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 got all this information then ultimately people or manager or or uh, or the practitioners they they okay you have done predictions you have analyzed the things but what to do next based on the constraints constraints are budget resources manpower money okay so for that you uh, when you amalgamate all these findings with your these constraints and the resources uh, so and you optimize that what which kind of interventions we can implement which can which we cannot implement in that particular uh, we can say uh, uh, financial year so the those optimization will come into ultimately uh, those things will come into the optimization or we can say this uh, recommendation or we can say in prescriptive analytics uh, one thing i want to mention that for doing any sort of analytics it's not necessary that you do all these three uh, phases like descriptive predictive and prescriptive at each and every phases you can take decisions and people are taking decisions it's not like until unless i'm not making uh, some sort of a uh, uh, optimization algorithm i'm not running i'm not taking any decisions normally we are taking based on by part uh, uh, bar chart and pie charts okay that's it but okay this these are the phases that okay that we can do ultimately that increase your competitive advantage okay. because you ultimately if you are doing optimization you can see that okay how i can optimize my resources money and people into your whatever finding that you have that's it otherwise you can take a decision at any point of time uh this is a data analytics process so if you'll see uh, first is data framing problem framing uh, 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 problem framing is like what is the problem what are the limitations in the industry uh, what are the issues are there so so that you have to analyze uh, you have to you have to find out that whatever problem that you are framing that can be analyzed using analytics or not so that is your first phase uh, the second then you will you will you'll see that whether uh, once you convert into uh, or you you reframe that particular uh, problem or in the problem framing you have to find out that who are the stakeholders who are going to consume that one who are creating that one uh, who are generating the data who are going to consume the particular information after that you have to re re we can say uh, reformulate those problems into analytical terms that okay these are these and what are the numbers what are the kind of a data what kind of information are required to ultimately process so that will ultimately come to your analytics pro problem framing the third one is your uh, data protocol here you will be extracting or we can say you will be collecting the kind of information that will be you will be ultimately uh, putting or you'll be uh, in your in your model or some analytics or algorithms so maybe it can be descriptive data it can be uh, some sort of a categorical data it might be text data maybe whatever uh, image data video data that is required for the analysis so that comes under your data protocols so uh, these first three uh, uh, we can say if you see these three first three uh, phases so uh, they 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 can say uh, they will be acting uh, in in one in, in one row that if let's suppose you form the problem and data is not like that then again you have to reformat 
the problem otherwise you, uh, again based on the problem you have to collect the data so these three phases it will be then as the as the industry level or we can say uh, the the uh, business level then after that one this fourth phase or fifth phase will be done in consultation with some sort of uh, analytical uh, person or we can say analytics uh, uh, skill person so in model selection you will be analyzing that okay what kind of algorithm that you are going to use uh, whether that particular model is giving acceptable level of uh, accuracy of the data or the information and same with the uh, building in the, the analytics model ultimately you have to find out that what are the uh, your your outcomes what are the your predictors what are the inputs what are the outputs what are the relation between them so that will ultimately uh, come into your uh, business analytics model okay so then ultimately you will be uh, deploying the results now uh, some uh, example i have kept like if you'll see uh, uh, this oil refinery uh, company shell uh, they are uh, they predicted their data and they found out that uh, the uh, the measurable engagement uh, you know employee how much uh, in, your employees engaged in the business is ultimately uh, uh, determining the number of incidents in the in the in the company Similarly, uh, if you'll see this uh, NEOS, uh, 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 in NEOS Institute or NEOS, uh, you can say, uh, uh, society, they have, their researchers find out those that, okay, most most of the incidents are uh, based on your slip trip fall or uh, ergonomic related uh, incidents, okay. Now, these were the basics of analytics. If somebody was not knowing, that was, I was telling, and now I'll be discussing that uh, ultimately how I have implemented or we have implemented, uh, you know, in one of the case uh, that uh, that we have taken. So uh, so I think somebody is messaging regarding something. Okay, somebody is asking for example. So this is the one of the examples. So that's I was just discussing that. Okay, this is what is analytics. Now I'll be discussing about the case. Uh, so some of the slides you may skip. Uh, you may just see that what the result I found out. Um, uh, that if something you are not able to understand, that just try to understand that ultimately what I'm going to what I'm trying to achieve. That's it. Tools and techniques can be learned that will be available on the internet, on the data, all those things. But the, the thinking process is important. So that's important in this particular case. Uh, so in this case, if you see uh, the, the industry that I have taken, so there a lot of incidents were happening. If you see this yellow part, so a lot of slip trip fall, uh, all the incidents are happening. So what is happening that they, they were having one uh, uh, safety management system in that one. And uh, based on that, if somebody is mean, somebody met some kind of or waiting some kind of incidents so they are logging the 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 incident in their own language okay the own language or whatever data available on the on the portal based on that they were logging the incidents or if they are not logging if they are not able to maybe uh, uh, due to some due to some uh, uh, reasons if they are not able to log that particular incidents the section manager or some other person can log those particular incidents in the system so based on the incidents, then head of the department of the uh, of the particular uh, division or department, uh, they are forming a investigation team, and then that investigation teams who are having different experts uh, of that area, one some safety and health expert, some uh, expert of the particular department or some particular job, they are forming some sort of a uh, investigation team, and based on so investigation they are submitting the uh, uh, report to the head of the department and they are also correcting some kind of information into the uh, your preliminary investigation report so this pir is just a uh, we can say the starting report that they are creating in the uh, that what is what was the cause of the incident, uh, particular incident or accident so based on that, head of the departments are uh, recommending some findings, and then the some safety experts are ultimately verifying those uh, 
uh, find uh, uh, the the recommendations that whether they are implemented uh, uh, nicely or not. So this was the co complete, we can say, the case. The some incidents are happening in this particular report. We are collecting the data, or the industries are collecting the data causes of each and every type, machine type, all those things. So this was the uh, case ultimately. Then I'll just show you uh, what kind of a methodology that I have created. So, so uh, if you see this particular decision support methodology that we have created uh, for the plant. So if you see that first is your data generation module, uh, then we have uh, uh, data pre-processing module, we have descriptive module, predictive module, and prescriptive module, uh, if you see this overall picture. So uh, in safety data generator module, what is happening that the process that I have discussed that somebody is logging the incidents and then supervisor and head of the departments are taking some sort of a decision or maybe some they are also putting some sort of a uh, data into that your PIR report and ultimately that ultimately that particular loop uh, or the create uh, PIR report or one report. Uh, I have also included uh, some safety guidelines uh, from the from the plant that they are using for different purposes and and for their audio that sorry their audit and review their uh, the compliance assurance all those things principles that they are including into your PIR and the main part uh, the, the main uh, we can say the main uh, reason that I have included this one to get the opinion or the to get the domain knowledge or the domain knowledge of the experts of the plant so that was the main reason to include this one because without that it's not possible okay so after that we have uh, we have just processed the data we have just pre-processed because data was dirty data was having some information that will be consumed only by the plant so for which as an analyst we are not interested maybe the name of the person or the uh, or the some other id all those things so that we have ultimately removed that one and so ultimately we got this kind of a data if you see uh, this kind of a data set very small data set uh, just for example purpose i have kept there is the huge data that they are collecting uh, from their end so if you see uh, first one the injury uh, sorry incident category so uh, they are collecting these three uh, major three major kind of a categories one is injury near miss in near miss cases like some you slipped somewhere and but you just didn't meet some kind of accident or some loss. Uh, property damage, if you're dashing, collision, all these things are happening and you are messing with some property. So that comes under your property damage. Then they are having different kind of uh, divisions uh, based on their different jobs that they are doing out there. So that is their then types of injury. If somebody is meeting with some sort of injury, maybe uh, LTI, maybe first aid, maybe foreign body, maybe all these things. And they are also collecting some information related to immediate causes that what immediately happened before the incidents, maybe dashing collision, maybe gas leakage happened, maybe rail accidents happen, incidents happen. So this is, uh, I'll be saying that this is the prototype. It's not the actual uh, actual data. It's, it's It was, we can say, uh, we have coded some of the data so that you know the confidentiality can be maintained so uh, there are different causes if you see immediate causes so these are we can say the main causal factors uh, then we are having whether the particular incidents happen due to the behavior or due to the process only or maybe it's happened due to the uh, unsafe act of the person or the unsafe act of the, act of the other person or maybe unsafe act or unsafe behavior both were involved uh, out there and then uh, what was the working pattern, whether the person was working alone, whether the person was working in a group, uh, what were the machine condition, whether he's working with a condition machine or whether he's not having any kind of a machine. And then we are having different scenarios of uh, SOP, the standard operating procedure, whether whether he was following, whether it was required, whether, you know, whether it was adequate or not, because if you're uh, uh, not using any adequate uh, we can say uh, SOP in that case also even if you are following that one you are, you are you, there are very much chances that you are going to meet some kind of a uh, accident or incident uh, then uh, they are also having one uh, uh, one one box that uh, you know for 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 narrating the story in their the, in the you know in the in the natural language we can say 
so if somebody is meeting with some incidents and they want to narrate that one into their own language so uh, the the plant was providing that particular uh, liberty to the uh, section manager and the uh, your the person so uh, if you see that one so you can narrate the whole story whether you are knowing the particular english or not you can write whatever that you want that to narrate that one because maybe the particular incident of slip tree fall happened so you can narrate that what what let the particular slip tree fall happen maybe the water was there or some you know he was or the person was not wearing the proper shoes all those information that you can type whatever that you want to you know write that you can write so that will ultimately uh, create a unstructured data unstructured data or we can say uh, normal uh, natural language that we are writing you know, like just like you know product reviews that we are whatever we are feeling that we are writing same happening happening in the brief description though uh, then uh, we in the descriptive part so most of the things uh, uh, if you see uh, were uh, different different uh, descriptive and uh, uh, analysis i have done just to have a overall picture that particular which particular kind of a accident is happening more which kind of a cause is more prominent for these incidents or what are the relationship using very very basic statistics and all the uh, 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 stats not basic okay but uh, basic uh, stats just to know that what actually is happening we have also tried to find out we are also try to monitor that okay con using control chart that what is happening uh, if you see this one, uh, we are also trying to find out uh, using Pareto that what particular cause is more, and we also try to uh, try to make a, a fishbone or we say cause effect diagram ultimately to capture all these causes and ultimately have what the effect. Uh, then uh, based on that, uh, 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 once we are knowing the things at at the abstract level. Uh, using your categorical data or we can say the the the, the very structured data so then we also uh, focused on, on the unstructured data or the natural language that they have ultimately uh, the created as a brief description of the incident so that they have written in their own language so we have tried to analyze that also so that we can have uh, we can say more insight of the causes ultimately so these are some we can say visualization that we have done so uh, we try to find out that okay what are the incidents are which are the which ultimately division or, uh, or are more prominent in some kind of incident like injury near miss property damage if you'll see uh, injury and near miss are more happening in division four so that was related to uh, 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 one of the uh, 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 one of the division that so they were making in wires out there so it was related to that one uh, uh, similarly if you'll see in uh, incident index because sometimes happened like big uh, if you simply see the frequency so what is happening if based on the frequency you will be analyzing so based on the frequency if big plan big big division is there so you may have you know more number of incidents so that we try to normalize with you know number of injury with number of employees so based on that also we found out that division four is more problematic okay similarly if we found out that uh, more number of near miss are are locked so that is uh, as per the literature and as per the uh, you can say the the standards uh, the the plant is capturing uh, similarly in injury cases uh, most of the cases are of first aid cases so if you see this one these are some some visualization that we have done okay as a descript as a part of descriptive analysis then we also try to find out uh, or we, that which particular division is currently performing well currently performing well with what is based on the past data which is doing well ultimately so uh, we did control chart so whichever things are more than your uh, uh, upper control limit so we are saying that okay there are some incidents happening happen in particular uh, particular particular month so month wise we have analyzed this one and if you see this near miss kind of a, a, a data so if you see this one from april to august it was too much and then after that uh, everything came into the control so there was very interesting uh, uh, 
uh, thing that we found out that before September, so the industry was paying money uh, or paying incentive uh, to log near miss incidents. Uh, but after that, they stopped uh, paying the uh, incentive. So people stopped logging the near incidents. So that, that was a uh, interesting uh, finding or interesting, uh, you can say, thing with that we have noticed uh, using that this one uh, in property damage we couldn't find any any sort of pattern okay so this was the overall so that we have done for uh, each and every uh, division of the plant so based on that for all seven divisions uh, seven or eight divisions that we have so from all these descriptive analysis we found out that division four that wire making which particular area is very much problematic okay then uh, using your categorical data or structure data we created this uh, uh, we can say uh, fishbone diagram that these are the causes and these are the effects then uh, so from here uh, we are not able to find out that what are the things that okay if slippery fall is happening let's suppose uh, so what are the causes sub causes we can say or sub causes or sub sub causes uh, which are causing this particular slippery fall. So for that one, we have analyzed the text data. So, so uh, okay. So just suppose, for the example, I have kept these slides that let's suppose slippery fall is happening. Somebody, these are the actual data that uh, while on cl climbing stairs. Uh, staircase uh, one contractor people slip down or if you see this one when a miner was carrying a loader loaded basket to the empty tub he slipped and the coal spilled out but they managed to save himself from getting uh, injured so these kind of uh, uh, the things that people are writing in the in the data so that data uh, this kind of a data that we have analyzed using our uh, text mining or text document clustering for uh, being specific then we call, found out these kind of a clusters or, or the information that we have for, for, for uh, we can say, interpreting, we have used the effort of domain knowledge experts. So based on that, we have just improved uh, your cause fishbone diagram. So if you see here, you, it, might, it might not be visible. So let me just extract one, one of the part. So if you see this one, so slip to fall incidents. So for that, if you see uh, most of the incidents or a lot of the incidents are happening, uh, staircase, slip trip fall incidents, or maybe ceiling fall. Let's just see this one. The so ceiling fall should not be you know, uh, provided in, uh, or written into that slip trip fall category. Or if you see coal piece fall, the, the piece of coal might have fall, fall somewhere or bold or coal filter incident, something. So these, uh, from, so from analyzing, uh, after the analysis, we found out that uh, there are some anomaly in uh, you know, that, uh, that how they are putting the data or, or the, the, how they are logging the data into the, in their portal. So, so those recommendation with that we have given that, okay, there must be some separate, uh, we can say category, the, the plant should provide so that these kind of incident can be logged into that particular, uh, you know, category like ceiling fall or coal piece fall, all those things. So, so these are the you can say sub causes that we found out. Uh, so, uh, after that, just after that, we found out that okay, the particular division is. Uh, these are the from the present scenario. These uh, particular divisions are not doing well, but it may happen that. Uh, so they also are analyzing uh, from their end and they also finding out that okay they they you know they, they might be happy that okay they are, they are not they are not being caught uh, based, based on the you know their present performance but uh, maybe if some bird plant uh, some division is not doing that well so but in back end they might be putting some effort to improve the conditions so maybe in in presently they are not that doing that good good or great but they might be putting that some efforts so which may be uh, getting reflected in near future so that we need to find out so for that when we have used predictive analytics so which particular division is going to perform well in future and which particular uh, division is going to have deteriorated uh, we can say safety performance in near future 
uh, if if this is current uh, we can say uh, trend will continue so that we try to analyze uh, using uh, forecasting and we also try to find out if some plant or some uh, division is problematic what are the causes what are the patterns which are which are occurring more okay so these are the things that we have done uh, in predictive analytics so uh, so that is the things that i have done so uh, if you see for forecasting i have used used one of the very famous model that uh, auto regression integrated moving average so that is arima model so that i have used uh, time series model that is time series model so that i have used for different divisions uh, then after that once i found out that particular division is problematic or or we can say is poorly performing uh, uh, based on the based on the future trend so then i extracted and i just took that particular division i took extracted the data of that particular division and then tried to find out the uh, causes or the pattern of the incident occurrences so for that i have used uh, association rule mining one of the uh, data mining technique so for uh, uh, for that technique i have used categorical data as well as your unstructured data or or textual data both and based on that we try to find out the uh, we can say what is actually happening in the particular uh, division or the uh, uh, that particular particular area so these are some pictures uh, if you see uh, these are just some pictures that's what kind of output you will be getting so if you see this uh, the the injury injury incident so if you see this one if you see this one the the overall if you say that the future trend is going to have upward direction so we found out that that particular division two actually so division four was actually going down it means division four uh was problematic but uh they they were doing some uh, we can say uh efforts to improve their safety performance but division two uh the injury trend is keep on increasing even though the present scenario was showing that okay they are doing a bit better than other divisions but uh, when we have analyzed the division 2 that iron making we found out that the trend is very much increasing so from based on that we just uh, we just uh, labeled or we can say we just uh, to, uh, we just we just found out that okay this particular division 2 is very poorly performing we can say uh, division so we have analyzed its uh, near miss and property damage so then we have done a uh, very 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 basic or very very you can say very simple uh, algorithm that association rule mining most of the time it's being used in uh, business area but we have used in safety area so from that uh, we have used uh, we have we found out or uh, we have created these kind of uh, scenarios or we kind of these kind of uh, rules we can say safety rules that we have created so uh, if you see your uh, left hand side uh, so these the, these are the outputs that we uh, found out from the uh, categorical uh, data analysis then we also analyze the text data that i already shown uh, that some narrative text that people are writing so based on that you know these kind of rules that we found out so if you'll see uh, where is the i think some Uh, so from the from these uh, we found out the insights that okay railroad incidents and slip fall are are more prominent in your injury cases and you know in uh, injury also the skidding of the bikes is more prominent uh, and and these skiddings are mostly happening when people are uh, you know you're going to join their uh, uh, going to join the duty so so that's very much natural coming from the the the, the you know uh, the common sense also that you know the, when the rush is more the people are leaving the plant and people are going to join their duty so at that particular time you know the bike incidents or these incidents are happening more in number so similarly uh, for our near miss cases we found out some of the uh, very much uh, uh, we can say the reasons behind the incidents like most of the near miss incidents are happening this process related and process also uh, analyzing text data we found out that you know when the slag spillage is happening or gas hazard or coke oven related incidents are more in process related incidents similarly if you'll see uh, uh, you'll see these uh, property damage cases so uh, 
uh, most of the property damage cases are happening due to your dashing collision, derailment, and some incidents are happening, process return incidents are also. And if you'll see derailment, derailment is happening, you know, due to tipler operation. So due to some improper uh, tipler operation, so incidents are happening. And sometimes, you know, the, 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 the person, those, they are not, you know, they are not able to put their, their their the wheel and you know the, the on the rail so improper prop, uh, uh, your point setting also these derailments are happening uh, similarly dashing collisions are happening uh, between your heavy uh, vehicles so these are some of the findings that we found out uh, these are coming with some mathematics but i am not putting out it out all those things so all those numbers were there so so once we found out that what are the reasons so why the particular incidents are happening ultimately plants are not that interested okay that is happening they are all knowing all those things then you have to uh, tell them some interventions that how they can improve the particular uh, problem so for that one uh, we have done uh, prescriptive analytics or prescriptive analysis that we have done so uh, we have designed uh, actionable safety interventions ultimately so if you see this one for for so this is this uh, overall methodology if you'll see uh, so we have used uh, axiomatic design for uh, uh, designing the interventions so once the uh, these interventions are designed so these interventions like once these are interventions designed so we you have to prioritize them okay that which we should you know which is which is which, which particular uh, intervention it's is more uh, required uh, from the plant, plant or or achieving the safety uh, performance point of view so that we have done using your uh, uh, quality function deployment or house of quality uh, analysis so that we have done so after uh, all those things then we try to uh, relate it with budgeting and the resources that particular plant is having with them because you prioritize the intervention but let's suppose you have to remove the particular rail line so that you cannot do let's suppose most of the incidents are happening because of that and it's most uh, prominent cause of that one but plant can't do it because it comes with a lot of a uh, lot of lot of a uh, uh, lot of effort or a lot of money so on that uh, side so uh, so 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 that ultimately we have included so uh, that i'll be discussing so this is the axiomatic framework so that we have used so that you can find in any book simple books so these are one of the example i am using very small example so for preventing let's suppose road safety uh, injury cases so these were the uh, these there are the why incidents are happening so these efforts are uh, why incidents are happening and how we are going to improve that one that's come to into your process variables so that's under your, your pvs these communication communicate your vehicle parking rules you know uh, for for improving your uh, injury related to vehicle parking so uh, so so this this uh, ultimately this is why and how we are going to improve that one that we have found out and then using quality deployment function we prioritize them so uh, so so once these interventions are prioritized very simple example i'm showing that let's suppose these eight uh, interventions are there and we have prioritized them so we found out that for the road incidents uh, that no flat tires ensure better grip is having more priority that it should be ensured so uh, on, on very first place then fluoride uh, this is uh, percent uh, warning sign should sticker should be put at the left hand side so that also intervention is one of the intervention that we have given and similarly uh, maximum speed should be restricted 10 km per uh, uh kilometer per hour near to main gates when we're the because of these uh, the rush hours the more incidents are happening near these uh, main gates so these are the interventions that we have prioritized so once we have prioritized these incidents okay we want we know that okay we want these particular things but maybe it might be coming with some sort of a cost on the on on plant so so and and in every business or every industry is having some sort of a uh budget constant so uh, we couldn't find out the actual data for that one so uh, so for that one we have used the relative costing and relative budgeting so that is one of the approach that we have used we have given a lot of interventions so based on then we have we went to the, the the experts or we can say domain knowledge experts of the plants that 
okay how much you are implementing and ratio relative wise okay so they have given us some sort of a data so we have used some uh, fuzzy techniques to just to you know, decode all those things uh, then we have you know for now we have you know uh, prioritize uh, sorry uh, priority of the interventions as well as we have a costing financial and non-financial both non-financial means maybe implementing one incident you might require some time or some process some file movement here and there so that comes under your non-financial cost so that also we have included and financial cost you know that manpower and money so these two kind of a cost that we have included then we have done uh, some sort of optimization uh, using knapsack so knapsack is very uh, popular we can say greedy approach that greedy approach like if you want gold but you will not able to hold that particular amount of gold so you know if a lot of items are there uh, all are costly so but you will be having the constants of constant of the holding of weight that you can hold only 50 kg so even though something is very much costly if something is of 1000 kg you cannot you know pick that one as a thief so so uh, so that was the concept of this uh, particular uh, knapsack model so if some intervention is very good prioritized but cost is too much so you may leave that one so, okay so ultimately the idea was so which are the interventions should be included in that particular uh, financial year so that you can maximize your safety performance so maximum means one minimum means zero so that is we have done using your uh, uh, the you know knapsack problem and then after that uh, this sort of a uh, output we have we got that okay if we'll that the the the, the results that i've shown like okay like uh, eight out of eight interventions so if you see this one uh, in that particular uh, uh, this uh, we can say uh, financial year uh, this particular intervention that you know remove drain and pit from the road of the workplace and cross the track perpendicular at the uh, railroad so these were not selected other than uh, others one all our interventions are selected because these are these all interventions are coming into the budget of the plant uh, so this this was the overall uh, we can say findings or we can say interventions we have found out so this is just the uh, you can say the, the the small thing that i have shown so ultimately but i have shown i'm just trying to show that how you can also implement the same uh methodology ultimately so these are some of the key findings so we have uh, uh, key findings or key interventions that we have uh, provided that we should uh, or they should uh, increase the line side with which uh, you know they are inserting the air so that should be increased uh, you know the the flat tire should not be should be you know should be checked properly and proper maintenance of the vehicle should be done and you know, they should be given proper training so all these interventions uh, we have provided uh, to the plant based on our all the analytics so uh, so uh, now the scope uh, i should talk because somebody already texted uh, something to me that uh, you have not uh, used the proactive data so we have not used the proactive data because the proactive uh, uh, uh they're having a lot of data related uh, to uh, you know uh, the workplace uh, observation so for a month they were creating uh, more, more than 11000 data point so so and there were some issues so for for that reason we couldn't take uh, the proactive data like your safety observation your contract safety your job cycle check and other relevant data so that you can ultimately we can use so uh, to map these incident with those uh, ultimately uh, pro probable hazards that we are uh, including into uh, proactive data similarly if you see text mining front of view so we have used very uh, you know in a uh, uh, very uh, whatever algorithm was available on the tools so that we have used so that also you can improve ultimately and also uh, you can we can use you know active learning to categorize the, the the causes based on the uh, text description of the incidents so these are the future scope ultimately so i think i have taken a lot of a lot of time and you must be having a lot of queries so that i want to solve so in that maybe i can explain more in that case thank you thank you uh, professor verma this is ashish garg okay okay ashish yes tell me yeah so uh, thank you for this wonderful lecture now we have uh, some questions in the chat box i am taking one by one yes yeah
सो आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट काइंड ऑफ एनालिटिक्स कैन बी कैरीड आउट यूजिंग प्रोएक्टिव सेफ्टी डेटा डेराइव्ड फ्रॉम वर्कप्लेस ऑब्जर्वेशंस एंड फर्टिलिटी रिस्क कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स okay so uh, that's i am discussing that if let's suppose uh, you are having incident and your uh, hazard uh, data both like observation data so same maybe uh, uh, you know some sort of uh, analysis that you can do like some sort of uh, indicators so once from this that why particular incidents are happening and if you do some sort of analytics on that also like some kind of a clustering you i will just just maybe some sort of clustering you will be doing let's suppose so based on the clustering on the accident data you will be finding some causes or some we can say uh, information and based on the clustering you will be finding some we can say gist of the uh, of the data from the uh, observation data so that you can map like if the in incident is happening due to some causes but that you are not collecting in the observation so that could be one of the intervention that okay that should be looked maybe that should be observed when you are going and when you are making some kind of audit so those kind of things should be audited or those should be should be included into your uh, your uh, in your uh, in your uh, you know proactive data yeah uh, thank you so our next question uh, our next question is uh, how to be sure that completeness in identification of courses are gathered uh completeness in completeness in identification of causes are gathered uh, so that's that's the reason uh, that's i'm telling that uh, 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 that's why we have used as much as data that we can like uh, text data we have included for that reason only because in categorical uh, or structured data like drop down menus are there that okay these are the causes on that only you have to choose the things so uh, just to cater that only we have uh, analyzed the text data like uh, the accident or, or or sorry the the dead data like just just uh, just uh, see that okay the pro something uh, like product reviews on amazon like somebody saying that it's a bad product so what was the bad in that one so based on that they are writing some kind of a reviews okay they are writing that okay i use that one the curve was not that good i used and battery got heated all those things so that we have analyzed okay so that you can include uh, to you know have a complete uh, you can uh, view of the particular problem or cause or factor yeah thank you thank you professor varma so our last question is what are the statistical tools required to foresee accidents <laughs> so tools uh, i i i uh, there see uh, there are two kind of uh, questions can be in that one like some people are asking but that what kind of algorithm and some people are asking what kind of uh, you know uh, uh, with these softwares sometimes so uh, what i used uh, uh, for forecasting so i used sas uh, but uh, python and uh, uh, r can also be used because, because they are also having a lot of packages ready made packages nowadays r is very much we can say uh, great and they are having a lot of community to solve the coding issues so you don't have to actual code you just have to google uh, that okay for arima what are the code and once if you are able to understand the coding you can easily implement those things uh, if you see uh, the uh, uh, forecast uh, sorry the foresee the accident so if you uh, if you asking me from the uh, algorithm point of view you can use uh, these uh, very uh, very 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 you can say popular forecasting techniques with that in my case i have used uh, arima that is auto regression integrated moving average uh, if you also want some kind of a cause also so we have i think uh, var that is i think vector auto regression so that also you can use uh, for 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 you, know, you can include the causes uh, for that one uh, you know with, with the forecasting so somebody is asking that what kind of a software i have used <laughs> so so uh, i can answer that for like it's the visualization that you have taken bar chart pie chart so for that i have used simple excel uh, the forecasting that you have seen uh, uh, for that i have used sas uh, the, uh, the association rule mining that you have seen for that uh, i have used uh, uh, r uh, uh, coding and for converting this text data into your uh, uh, you know you know you have to convert this text data into categorical into nice format structure format for that i have used python so so, so whatever was easy i have used okay, and that should be done like, like if you, you cannot be stick with some kind of a tool whatever easy whatever is you are comfortable with that you can use
yes so uh, thank you one more question is there uh, one of the participant is asking um, uh, sir is there any particular technique or method to investigate accidents uh for that uh, i will say uh, there is very famous quote that uh, that all the models are wrong some are useful <laughs> okay so uh, whatever tools or techniques data mining machine learning uh, that uh, you can do uh, you can use that one but uh, that that we have used my juniors and ashish and everybody is using in uh, all those things that you will be using hundred of algorithms hundred of uh, tools and techniques but some might be useful on based on which you will be giving some sort of a, a we can say uh, uh, actionable interventions so uh, i cannot uh, i can tell you like uh, 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 just a particular technique uh, particular technique if you say the simplest one is association rule mining that i have used so because that can be used for recommending or finding the pattern in the accident okay that these are the accident and these are the effects of that one so that is one of the we can say simplest technique or, or or clustering that you can use ultimately so based on the clustering you can target some particular kind of uh, incident reports that these particular particular incident reports are of this particular cluster which are very much problematic so that you can use ultimately so these are very much popular techniques i can say or classification some if you can do decision tree based on decision tree also you can uh, formulate the rules but in my case i couldn't found very you know i applied uh, decision tree but i couldn't found very you know nice rules so that's why i just moved to uh, association uh, rules mining so 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 yeah, that's very much code so those who are applying analytics so that's very much focus code that all models are wrong some are useful okay so <laughs> So thank are... you thank you professor verma for this uh, wonderful lecture uh, now uh, and uh, nicely explaining the answers to all the questions and uh, on behalf of coe sea i uh, thank you for your for rec uh, accepting this request and delivering the wonderful lecture and i also thank all the participants for attending the uh, this session in the next week again we will meet uh, Uh, with the uh, one of the academic speaker till then thank you for joining and, and thank you abhishek bhaiya thank you thank you ashish thank, thank you, you thank you thank you all thank the you. participants for joining it's very nice to talk after a long time yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah thank you thank you all